Hey, it's Jess with Hardcore Carnivore, and today we are cooking spinach and artichoke stuffed venison backstrap. We're gonna start off by making the filling, and that's a spinach and artichoke dip inspired. So we have spinach, artichoke, we've got ricotta cheese, Parmesan cheese, lemon zest and lemon juice, garlic, and hardcore carnivore amplify, which just adds a little more flavor. So I'm gonna mix all the ingredients together. I've got a beautiful piece of whitetail venison backstrap that I actually hunted myself in Junction, Texas. And that's one of the things that I really love about hunting. I love getting to hunt and then process my own meat, cook it. It's the total field to plate experience. So to get this backstrap ready for stuffing, I'm gonna make an incision all the way across the length and open it up. And then I'm gonna use a mallet to kind of pound it flat so I have a nice even surface for stuffing. So I'm gonna stuff the backstrap and really the trick is not to use too much stuffing. I know it's tempting to wanna to put a lot in there, but it's just gonna make it super hard to close and most of it's gonna fall out on the grill. So it's stuffed, now we have to truss the backstrap. Now, the easiest way to do this is just to go ahead and use some butcher's twine. You can actually get this at Academy. And you can just tie knots. That's the simplest way to do it. I like to tie a knot and then kind of do a, a loop system so that the string stays complete the whole way through. If you are doing one loop at a time, you can just cut the string as you go. Or if you want to do it this way, I prefer just to cut it at the end so I know exactly how much I'll need. Okay, a beautiful whitetail backstrap is stuffed. It's trussed. It's a about to be grilled, but not before we season it. Today I'm gonna to be using Hardcore Carnivore Black. I've got a grill with super duper hot coals, but they're all piled to one side, and that gives me a hot zone and a cool zone to cook with. So I actually call this the JKF method, just keep flipping, and it helps you build an amazing crust, but the constant flipping means that you're not overcooking the meat on any one side. So now you just have to keep cooking it until the filling is warm all the way through the middle and that should temp at about 135 degrees. It's really important to rest the backstrap once it comes off the grill for at least five or 10 minutes. And I've actually taken off and discarded the twine from this one too, so it's time to cut in. So you get the great taste of that filling. The meat is still perfectly medium rare, which is really how you want venison backstrap. And it is a delicious bite all in all. Mmm. I'm sure there's a rule against loving your own food this much, but it's really good. So for more great recipes just like this one, you can hit up Academy's YouTube channel or just head to your local Academy Sports and Outdoors for all your hunting and grilling needs.